Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2018 mid-month readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers and thank you for all your support, feedback and comments and your shares and likes and subscribes. And thank you to all of my clients out there for keeping me so busy with one-on-one -on -one readings. If any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, live or recorded, you can get more information and my contact details by going to my YouTube channel's homepage clicking on the little about button. You can also get that information by clicking on the description bar of all the videos I post. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life and turnaround time is pretty fast because I do readings uh, full-time five to six days a week exclusively. It is what I do. So send me an email if you're interested and uh, I'll get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours with more information. Uh, for those of you who like to utilize the smartphone app Instant Go, you can also find me there under Irish Gypsy uh, for quick answers to those quick questions. All right, let's get right into this reading. This is for the water sign of Pisces for July 2018 mid-month. So we're looking at the remainder of July here, the last couple of weeks for our mercurial fluid fish, our Pisces. If you know you're rising in your moon sign, uh, watch those videos as well. They can provide additional clarification because general readings, there's a lot of you watching. So the details and specifics um, will vary, but uh, the energy and advice always remains the same. All right, Pisces, let's see what's in store for you for the remainder of July. We begin with the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Magician, the Hanging Man, followed by the Six of Pentacles. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Six of Swords. Hmm. Interesting reading, Pisces. I feel like this can go in kind of two different ways depending on who's watching. Um, your overall energy is healing, peace, uh, the Six of Swords. Swords is air energy and the tarot, um, the air is the element which governs the suit of swords. And in the tarot, this is uh, energy of the mind, mental, cerebral, intellectual energy. It's about our words and our ideas and how we think about things, our belief systems, our perceptions, because that affects the way that we communicate and relate to the world and people in the world. Truth, higher education, learning, it's all about what goes on up in here. The Six of Swords is a card of moving away from something that has been uh, maybe troubling, chaotic, turbulent, painful even, and moving into a better place, a more balanced, harmonious, peaceful, quiet, uh, healing phase. It's transitional, meaning that she's left the worst or he has left the worst behind them. They're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but definitely moving towards that, uh, particularly in a mental and emotional way as well. Peace, restoration, and healing. That's the general overall energy and guidance. So, and, and healing, particularly in the initial phase of healing, healing has its, its, its up days and its kind of down days, particularly in the initial period. But gradually over time, healing means that things are getting better. You're moving into waters, into a time that's more peaceful and placid and serene. So that's your overall energy for the remainder of July. It looks like you're healing from something, getting over something. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles clarified and accompanied by the Magician. So the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy and in the tarot this is the energy of things usually manifesting in our earthly, the earthly part of our life, things we can see and touch and feel that are tangible. It can be money, finances, property, resources, assets, job, etc. Tangible efforts or tangible results that we get from the efforts we put into something. Knights are, um, they usually, uh, they often represent offers and opportunities because knights are the deliverers of the tarot. Um, they go off to accomplish something and uh, they bring the results back and they can also represent the speed at which a situation moves. The Knight of Pentacles out of all four of the Knights is the slowest. The gardener has, I can hear, has just shown up with his leaf blower so hopefully that's not going to interfere too much with this reading. 
The Knight of Pentacles is the slower of all four of the Knights, even though they're all known for being fairly fast moving, uh, because his driving force is Earth. Uh, but it's slow, steady, reliable. This is the night that will see his mission or quest accomplished from beginning to end, step by step, in a very thorough way. Um, so this is a tangible offer or opportunity that may be being placed in front of you or being offered to you. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can be a tangible offer, like uh, sometimes it's an offer to, to help move, sometimes it's a job offer or opportunity, or uh, it could be an offer on a home. There's some kind of incoming offer, and it could be in the relationship area of your life, personal relationship. It could be that uh, someone is making an offer or opportunity to you of some kind that feels very tangible in nature. Uh, it could be, you know, concrete, let's partner with this together, let's move in together, um, again, or a job offer of some kind, but I feel like, I feel like uh, Pisces that some of you are manifesting your own opportunities. Some of you may be, so here's where it splits a bit. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician. The magician is kind of the entrepreneur of the tarot. Um, he's very independent, very powerful. He's very skilled. He is who he is because of the road behind him. He's worked long and hard to get to the point in his craft where he now has mastery over all of his tools, his elements. He has the experience, wisdom, knowledge. This is about manifesting all of those things, all of your experience, your tools, your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience, trial and error, and manifesting that outwardly in an external way to create and build whatever you want to. Um, uh, externally because you have everything that it takes. It's a very independent, entrepreneurial, powerful energy. Some of you may be going into business for yourself, starting something new. Um, some of you may be extending an offer to partner with somebody else or somebody may be extending an offer to partner with you. Some of you, I, I feel, are manifesting your own opportunity. And here's the thing, and I felt this in the beginning first, I feel like there's an offer or invitation or opportunity coming in front of you, but you are waiting on taking it. You're not sure if you're going to take it or accept it or not because you're in this very independent energy itself. You're not sure if you want to partner with someone, even if it feels like a good opportunity or mutually beneficial because you have this very independent kind of entrepreneurial energy of yourself. And sometimes if the magician has a challenge, it is in working with other people because he's a very independent or she is a very independent soul. Um, they have their own way of doing things. Uh, it's the way they've always done it and it works best for them. And so they often sometimes have difficulty in compromising or, or working with other people because they have their own way of doing things. And I feel like for some of you, um, whatever this offer opportunity coming in, you're not sure if you want to take it because you're kind of attached to doing things your own way in your own time. Now next, and also because you're recovering from something, you're, you're healing from something and you're not sure if you want to jump right back into that, whether it's a job work, a career issue, or whether it's a relationship issue. Now next to that, we have the hanging man and the six of pentacles. So the Hanging Man is another major arcana card, and this can represent uh, feeling like you're in stasis and limbo, uh, which never really happens because even if you can't see it, energy is fluid, it's always moving, there's always things moving and shifting in the unseen realms, the subtle realms. The Hanging Man fundam fundamentally represents hanging back from a situation or withdrawing from a situation, whether it's conflictive or you just don't know enough yet. It can represent that you may not have all the information yet and there's still things that are playing out. The Hanging Man withdraws and he he doesn't struggle. This is about, because he understands that this place, this situation is, is transitional and temporary and that things are still playing out. Um, the Hanging Man can represent being, being in acceptance of a situation, even if it maybe appears to be awkward or uncomfortable, um, because you're waiting to see how things play out and you're not sure yet about what you should do. And as advice, the hanging man represents not jumping in there and trying to rush things or force things, force an outcome or maneuver an outcome uh, because you're impatient or you want to see what's happening. The hanging man kind of steps back and he stays there and uh, he doesn't try to kind of get in and maneuver or anything. So it's about watching how things, uh, kind of taking a step back and watching how things play out and being in acceptance of that space that you're in, not struggling against it because you know that it's temporary and transitional. Now it's accompanied and there is sometimes a certain, 
sense of self-sacrifice about this. Um, I'm, I'm just getting this feeling of maybe you're not sure what to do yet. You're still kind of pondering. It's accompanied and clarified by the Six of Pentacles, so more Earth energy here. The Six of Pentacles can represent giving or receiving. It can represent a mutually beneficial relationship or situation, whether that's in work or finances or career, in relationships that can represent, personal relationships that can represent mutual respect, mutual attraction, mutual love, equal giving, equal receiving. It can represent being on the giving end or the receiving end. So some of you in the personal relationship area of your life, you may have received an offer of some kind, a very tangible, concrete offer. But you're in independent mode. You're not sure about taking it. You're kind of hanging back. You're kind of watching how things play out, maybe watching how the other person is. Um, even though it appears to be a good offer, it maybe feels like a good offer. It looks like it would be a mutually beneficial offer. But for some reason, there's something about it you're just not quite sure yet. So you're kind of waiting and watching, letting things kind of, you know, ruminate inside of yourself and watching how, how things kind of unfold because you're not sure yet. Um, for some of you, you may be on, again, because you're healing, you're recovering, you're coming out of something. Some of you, you may be wanting to or tempted or thinking about extending an offer, making an offer or an invitation which is concrete and practical in nature, whether that's in personal relationship or in business work and career. But again, there's this sense of waiting because things are still playing out. And that's a, fundamentally, regardless of what area of your life this resonates in, I feel like things are fundamentally, fundamentally still playing out. And that a decision isn't, you're not sure about making the decision yet. And I don't feel like you will until the end of July, probably, probably, maybe more in the beginning of August. Whether you're on the receiving end of this offer opportunity or whether you're on the giving end, there's a sense of I don't know yet because you're coming out of something and you're still kind of, you know, in this recovery, peaceful place, and you're not sure if you want to, you, you may have some fears that um, by jumping right back into something, regardless of what that something is, you may be compromising your integrity or kind of this place of being alone, um, which you're kind of attached to right now. I don't feel a strong yes or a strong no. It looks like a good offer. It feels like a good offer, but it's okay to wait and to hang back uh, because I think more will be revealed over the last half of July. Yeah. So Pisces, that pretty much wraps up your July 2018 mid-month readings. I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, yeah, somewhat helpful uh, or at least not confusing. <laughs> for those of you who are in this kind of waiting, watching mode. Uh, again, if you would like a more personal tailor just for you, one-on-one -on -one reading, you can get that information and contact details by clicking on the little about button you'll find on my YouTube channel's homepage or clicking on the description bar of the videos I post. Please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be very happy to work with you and set up a personal reading live or record it as quickly as possible. Uh, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instago under Irish Gypsy for quick answers to uh, the quick easy questions. And uh, you can also find me on PayPal through my email address for those of you who care to donate any amount in support of uh, my channel. So thank you again for watching. I will see you all again, Pisces, in a couple of weeks for the August 2018 general readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you back here again soon.